Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. Key to your career success and your contentment is that you don't just take the job off the rack like a suit. Unless you tailor it to fit you, and unless you accessorize it, it's probably not going to be as good a fit as it could be. Now, sometimes everything is cast in stone and you have no discretion over how you do your job or what your job description is or whatever. But rather than accept that your job description is cast in stone, think of it as cast in jello. For example, let's say your job off the rack is expected to be mostly 75% looking in front of a computer screen. And you know in your heart of hearts you would miss more people contact, whether it's supervising or mentoring or being on a team, especially if you've just been hired, but even not. Meeting with your boss to ask if you could rejigger your job description to accentuate your strengths and interests, that is that you are more, say, of a people person than just a data person, can be core to making the job fit you and then again, in turn, to increase your career success and contentment. Another example is some people need a lot of structure and they want rules set out for them. They want their boss to do it or a coworker. Or they simply want to follow the procedures. Other people go nuts with that level of supervision and control. They like the autonomy. Ask yourself, where would you thrive more? Could your job be rejiggered to give you more or less autonomy? And third, sometimes the job, most jobs really, if we're really being honest, are not sources of huge passion. They're just jobs that need to get done and they're worthy, but it isn't going to get you ultra excited. But sometimes you can get permission to take the lead or at least participate in some project you do care more about that would use your best skill or your interest or your hobby. Think hard about what that might be. Might it be, for example, I'm not talking about something sexy like making a movie, but maybe to interview potential customers or coworkers, and then writing a report or giving a report. That could be more exciting than your normal everyday job. So think about it. So key to being successful on your job and happy is to tailor, tailor the job to fit and accessorize the job to fit. And it, those examples that I gave you are and they're just samples. There are many other examples, but could you rejigger your job description to make it more word-centric or data-centric or people-centric to match your strengths? Should you get more or less autonomy from your boss if possible? Should you ask special permission to do a cool project that would make your job more exciting? In any event, that's a, one of the many tips in my new book, Jeremy's Quest, Succeeding and Starting Out, but it's also relevant if you're not starting out. And why I'm particularly proud of this book, I've written fat books, but I've learned over my 6,000 clients that people are more likely to change if something is friendly and palatable. So the book is thin, it's illustrated, and all the tips, every page is an illustration, uh, by wonderful Siddhartha Malik, my, India, uh, my illustrator in India. And it's all embedded in a story of a man, Jeremy, in his quests, both for career and relationships and money and health. In any event, it's available on Amazon. Um, I do thank you for watching. I certainly hope you will, no matter what, you'll use that tip to try to rejigger your job description, if possible, to match your strengths and interests so that it is a good fit. In any event, I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.